Yesterday, I went to the store with my mom, and I ran into an old teacher of mine from high school. He asked if uh, he had never met my older sister before, referring to my mom. I told him it was actually my mom, and he looked genuinely surprised, despite me thinking that he was just trying to be funny. He then said, you're telling me that that came out of that? And it got very weird. Was he trying to insult me, insult my mom, hit on me, or hit on my mom? And that's from Hot Moms. No! No! Why the situation? Why the... Did this come out of that? What? Did this come out of that? Did this come I'm out sorry. of that? I'm sorry. Is that what you're saying? Will, telling me? is this your sister? No, no, this isn't. This isn't my sister. So you're te- you're telling me this is your girlfriend? No, this is my mom. <laughs> you're telling me she birthed you're telling you? Me all- <laughs> is that what you're, you're telling, telling me? me? This lady gave a life to this fella? How? What? What? Yeah, it's bad all around. I think mm-hmm. that I think this is the this is like the this is the corner piece of what every high school teacher kind of felt like they were trying to do with a lot of their students. Do you ever get uncomfortable? I felt like for us um, in our high school and middle school times, let me know if you disagree with this. That it was all the gym teachers. They were mm-hmm. all the people that yep. were, they felt like yep. they felt like they were like felt personally victimized for not being able to like add their students on social media and stuff like that. And those were the people who made it feel weird that like when you got to college, you could just like add your professors on Facebook and things like that. And you're like, oh, this feels wrong. And somebody's like, why does that feel wrong? It's just a person. And they're like, well, well, I don't know. It's just high school and middle school it made me think that all my all my gym teachers were trying to sleep with half the girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's definitely the gym teachers. It's, a, it's, it's all the gym teachers. Why are the gym teachers the, it, the sus ones every time? Why the gym teachers? All right, so we got to categorize all of this. It depends. It Honestly, and the And for all you gym teachers out there, sorry you're so sus, man. It's just the way it is. <laughs> We, apo- we apologize for you. <laughs> I'd like to make a next week. We'd like to make a formal uh, apology to all the gym teachers that listen to our podcast. But mm-hmm, in the meantime, mm-hmm. we're going to keep on clowning on you. Keep on going. Yeah, this is clown around time. Uh, so there's a situation of we need to categorize what teacher approached you because the answer is yes to all of your questions depending on what kind of teacher approached you. If it's a gym teacher, is he insulting and hitting on either of you? Yes to all of it. He is insulting both of you and hitting on both of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and that's, it's weird how people can do that when they try to be nice and they know what they're doing is wrong and they end up insulting you and hitting on the same. Have you ever had that happen? Like when whenever somebody says like, Wow, you're oddly attractive. It's just like, mm-hmm. oh, I just can't be normally attractive. I guess it has to be odd. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like it has to wow. be odd that somebody is attracted to that person. Like if I had compliment. if I had long hair right now, and someone was like, you know, it's weird. Long hair actually looks good on you. Like, what is, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've does that mean that I've, you've thought yeah. for a period of time? Thank God he has not have long hair. Thank God. Yeah. If he if he did that, I promise you, I I'd tell it all the friends. I promise you, it would not look good for a second. Season with long hair, guys. I gotta go back on my word. All right, hold on. I gotta approach this man. Hey, you know, I've been I've been talking to my friends for the past four months. You haven't had long hair this whole time. I've been telling them that if you got long hair, not a good deal. But you proved me wrong today. Oh, when I first went bald, I was hanging out with a group of friends, and I was like, "All right, guys." Be brutally honest. Tell me what you think of it. And I got like three or four people. Yes, and that is a flex. I do have three or four friends. Who, oh my God. Who I know. Uh, who said, you know, it actually looks pretty good. And I was like, I actually don't believe you based on the way you said that. But then there was one <laughs> dude who was like, I hate it. And I was like, this is the only one I believe. It doesn't make me feel any better about the others. And it makes me feel like he just spoke for all of you. But at least I can believe you, you know? And and I don't know. That's just what I... Like, this guy clearly wanted to say something nice and clearly is trying to be somebody who's like, oh, man, this is a great thing you have going on, former student of mine. Also, their mom, because I'm not picky. And I will go... Mm-hmm. There's a 20-year <laughs> spread, and I'm not concerned, you know? There's oh, gotta, you've got to find a way to shoot your shot where you can, because that, this is the other it's thing a, for, for shoot teachers. Shoot wide. That's what he's doing. Just shoot wide. You're a teacher. You have not a lot going on for you. I'm just... 
gosh, that's not a good statement. There's teachers are great. We love teachers. <laughs> teachers, teachers, awesome. The best. There's a. There's one situation though. One, you can't hit on your students. That's very weird. No matter, even even if you're like a collegiate teacher hitting on grad students, there's still a weird situation of like still hitting on it. your students because still then there's also there's also like the weird factor of like. How, are you giving them better grades just because they're flirting with you? Whatever. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. then there's this situation of like you can't really hit on the other teachers because then it gets very awkward mm. between classes and how schedules are run, et cetera, et cetera. And so you're not meeting people at work and you're not meeting people through work necessarily. So you And that's why just... parent teacher conferences were made. I think that's... I think what oh we're finding what brought me to is that that's why parent teacher conferences were made. They're like these are my favorite students. I bet their mom is hot. Oh my you're god! Like, and that's you're like... sitting there at the beginning of the year, and you're like, "Who's going to be in my class?" And you're single as all get out, and you're like, "Hey, Roger, we know you're single, man. Which students do you want?" And he's like, "I want the I want the ones with the divorced parents. That's the ones I want. Come Bring in. me the moms. Hand he's me like, the moms." Derek, Derek's having an awful year, and you see, yeah. you see his, you see his mom walk in for the parent teacher conference, and the teacher's just like, "Yes." <laughs> just like very very audibly yes and, and she's like oh what is it um what what's the prize i'm like oh roger i just love your kid i just love your kid and i'm so happy to finally meet the the one who you he came out of that you're telling that, me yeah and so what and then oh that's a whole different that story came out of that <laughs> because because that's when that that's applicable like coming for the parent teacher conference you're like what that came out of that no, I don't do that either. That was bad advice. That's uh, super flirt. Well, this is a different situation. Uh, where, when you were with your parent, is your parent single? Has your parent recently been like, man, I kind of hope we run into your old teacher, Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so, because I, I never told you this, kind of had the hots for them. And then, miraculously, 10 seconds later, mute cute style, run into them. But that came out of that, all of a sudden your mom's face, redder than a tomato, and you, all of a sudden, have to think to yourself, do I make my way to the grocery store bathroom because th I wish those existed, that'd be such a convenience. And uh, you make your way off so that they can have a little bit of a time to themselves to catch up since the last parent-teacher conference, which is be the only time that they've ever talked to each other. Or do you make the super awkward and be like, hey, mom, is it, uh, how, how are you and dad doing recently? And then all of a sudden the situation's awkward for everybody. But I think the, the, the thing is he was probably doing all of the above because he's lonely and is trapped great like doing 80 hours a week worth of grading all your guys's papers and all the students who are have gone after you mm -hmm. um the problem here was that he spread too wide of a net and he caught nothing with it <laughs> 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 you know that is that is definitely the case he definitely just spread his net way too wide and they both just easily moved out of the way of this of this net that he was trying to ensnare them within um it's an awkward situation and we're sorry Hope that helps. I think we <laughs> helped. The, I hope. I hope we helped. The, I think we helped the teacher more than we helped the the question asker. But either way, there it is. <laughs>